Every single video on this channel is going to make you smarter. That's why you should subscribe and hit the bell icon. Also, when it comes to health in the modern modern day, especially for young people, uh, I personally, because I'm always surrounded by young people, I see two big mistakes that they make. Mm -hmm. One is that um, there's lesser home food consumed right. today. Like mm -hmm. it's it's usually we're ordering on one of our ordering yes, yeah. delivery apps, uh, and that happens every day. Uh, and two, I just feel that there's too much processed food around us. Like right. there's too much food that has, um, you know, like that's come out of a factory. Yeah. So uh, as a health expert, could you quantify the safe number in terms of how many times a week can you eat outside food? So yeah, let me put it this way. Okay. Yeah. It can take one outside meal to basically negate seven to eight days of the hard work that you've put in with exercise and food. Yeah. Like go into a normal Chinese restaurant or any grill or whatever, like a normal bowl of fried rice will have so much of oil, that'll be your quota for the next one week. Wow. Now, we've got to think backwards. That's all I want to say. I don't want to be you know, negative and tell people not to eat out. Just do the math. Because what is the job of even the best hotel and restaurant to make your food taste good? Hmm. How do you do that? What are the ingredients? Salt, sugar, oil. That's it. It's as simple as that. So home food doesn't use that, although it tastes so good because it's made with love by your mom and all of that stuff. But again, the youth today, their mindsets have been changed by smart marketing. Mm. So everyone's on Swiggy. Oh, have you, there's even a, have you Swiggy this? I'll just Swiggy in dinner, Swiggy in dinner. <laughs> You'll be Swigging and a doctor and nutritionist as well very, very quickly. <laughs> because face it, now look at this. Everything comes in plastic. Okay, we all know what happens when heat and plastic mix together. There's mm. leaching of BPA. Mm. BPA increases estrogen in both men and women. What mm. are some of the biggest problems amongst men, women, and youth today? Hormonal problems. Mm. Young girls, PCOD, weight gain, belly gain. Young men, hyperactivity, anger mm. issues, low mm. testosterone, more fat than muscle. Mm. Okay, so now imagine I'm a chef. Okay, I make hot food, you swig it in your order. I put that hot food into a plastic container. Mm. I cover it, so I'm, maintain, I'm retaining the heat. So that beautiful chemical leaching process has started. It probably takes you one hour to get your order. Mm. Most people will reheat it again in the microwave. So yeah. you're reheating, you're reheating in plastic, and then you're putting all of that stuff in your system. Now I understand, some people need to, it's a convenience food. But if we really get into that effort of really getting a tiffin service, a different mm. service comes from someone's kitchen. Mm. Okay, maybe it's not that fancy, so you may not want to put it up on Instagram and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But the truth is, what are we feeding ourselves? Yeah, 100%. You know, so maybe once or twice in a week, yes, try to get better. You know, but if you think you're eating healthy or you think this is adding to your health, no, it's only slowly, slowly leaching health out of your system.